My name is Tony Gonzalez! I'm tripping, but don't think I'm slipping, player. I'm tripping, but don't think I'm slipping, player. I'm tripping, but don't think I'm slipping, player. I'm tripping, but don't think I'm slipping. Okay, we will part two on here. Get him. I had to get all these niggas start shooting at me. Let me put on no Berettas. Come get a tight of the shotgun. Let's get the hell out of here! Oh, These dudes, uh, whoever these dudes is. <laughs> Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Who's Jack Lupino? I don't know more about the name of Lupino. Still stepping on his toes though. <laughs> Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. My attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Paint to the max. You're killing me. If you make that of yourselves, you get some wine out downstairs to come up with it. Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan? The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he said bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Uh, uh, the Marble City for you. Deeper than lying down. My name is Tony Gonzalez. Uh, uh, <laughs> that was funny. I what? My name is Tony Gonzalez. Now let's see who, who, who Bosses! Everything all right? Bosses! I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagnini. Gagnini was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words. Quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one. Unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up for your finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Souza, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Joey, Vigilio, you all right in there? Yeah, we're good, son. Call the others. Tell them to come quick. Okay, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now. Bosses, we're coming in. 
There he is! Weird ass bitch. Something's wrong with the bosses. Pain's there and they're not answering. Hold it. I said open up the door and I kick it down. Man, I want the bag of layers. They kept on giving me fans. Hold it. Ah! What you thought you was grabbing, huh? 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 Tell me what you was grabbing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Hey, who is this? Uh, no mind. That's disgusting. Previously, on Lords and Ladies. Lady Amelia, Marquis Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, an all new episode of Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. Sorry, I have he is.
Please help, please. Don't give me no coins. No, I don't want coins. Do I keep on getting a fight? Oh no. Okay, well, give me a Pepsi. That's right, I don't I hate these. I hate these day dog machines. took a turn for the worse as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues. This party had been dead for a while. I couldn't say I was sorry I'd missed the show. Fans, please give me some. Please. Fuck this. They keep on giving me goddamn going fans. I don't want no damn fans. All these. Chapter 3, a hundred fillets back. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Oh. Ah. Oh, man. Ah. like they was coming for you. What the suck? Shot is the head shot. That's all I gotta say, shot. You like in doors around here? I found Muerte's room. Muerte had received a letter. Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. I'll use the references. Okay. 
I didn't want to know what had happened here. It was not a pretty sight. God damn! I thought it was a bomb for sure! Nah, the Russian wouldn't dare. This has been waiting to happen. <laughs> Yo! Ah! Ah! Like I say, headshots is the dead shots. The hooker had left her diary on the table. Let's see what she wrote. <laughs> the diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. Yeah, she need to start doing that. Prostitution in this bag. Trust me. I know. I used to be a prostitute. <laughs> Hey! It's him! Go get him! No, wait! You go get him! You go and get him! I'm gonna get him! Oh, yeah. ah! 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 <sighs> Chapter 4 Caught in the Crossfire. The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Rapino's hotel. It was freaking crazy. The cops were doing a full-scale siege next door. More traffic than death. Oh, oh, oh. 
A winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area, as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed, and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now, with no end in sight. We'd been snowed from the start in the Valkyr case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire. Time to kill these sons of guns. <coughs> You first. Exhibit number one, a newspaper. A newspaper. Yeah. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> But a six-pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic strip. Oh, I wish that was a, a real comic. So I could have I could have went anyway. Is this what y'all telling me? I eat that nigga Take brand. vampire movies. Why are they open? What? Ah! Oh! Y'all talking about vampire movies, bro. They're just supposed to be trying to kill me. Hey. Trust me, you don't want to piss me off now. Gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. Cheers and green-eyed angels. Amen. Sorry to break up y'all little get together, but a lifetime ago this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. It was dirty money. Dirty money, good money. I'm taking the money. The transparent cylinders glowed green, full of Valkyr.
Okay, let's go kill these. I need you the key to get past the locked door. I forgot the key that was in my room. Only the key. There was a key on the table. Two mad dog killers, ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now they're gonna do it. But no, they sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with a kung fu fighting video game. I tell you, kid, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mm, mm. Nah, you're not bad. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Where they went for his gun. You went for his gun? Put your pants up. This is a big deal. Trying to kill me. Right here, this broad tried to kill me. 